is there such a thing as forbidden archaeology? And do you know of examples that have been discovered and hidden from the public eye? Yes. My answer is yes. Even in our lifetimes, there's been politicized debates that have interfered in unbiased archaeology. The most popular, or at least most popular, or at least most publicized, was the debate between British archaeologist Graham Hancock and Egyptian archaeologist Zahai Hawass over the efficacy of ground penetrating radar to probe the sandstone below the Sphinx. Hawass denied its usefulness and shouted Hancock down during a public conference in an event that quickly became viral video in the modern era of the internet. This is not a new trend in archaeology either. Consider the debate, mainly carried out during the 20th century by their followers, between English Egyptologist for the British Museum, Sir E. A. Wallace Budge, 1857 to 1934, and English poet, Egyptologist, and spiritist Gerald Massey, 1928 to 1907. While Budge remained the go-to for scholars of English translations of Egyptian hieroglyphics during most of the latter half of the 20th century, Massey was preferred by theosophists and many indigenous peoples who particularly identified with Massey's explanation of Jesus' acts in the Gospels as a retelling of the resurrection of Osiris from the perspective of Horus and favored Massey's Christian socialism. The result of this split between the style of study used by these two pillars of early 20th century English Egyptology was that, for the latter half of the 20th century, many people studied one or the other of them, but few studied both. Budge stuck with a purely phonetic translation of the Egyptian hieroglyphics, but Massey, supposedly, read a deeper meaning into the pictographic nature of the letters. So, while Budge was studied openly by public scholars, Massey was often studied esoterically by more speculative researchers. The result of this is that there are hypothetical conclusions proposed by both Budge and Massey that are not shared in the works of the other. This competition within the field even over simple English translation of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics, only serves to obfuscate the truth about history and enshroud it in the trappings of modern thought. <laughs>